Welcome back to the 2-Minute Warning. Today I'm taking a look at the Las Vegas Raiders and going over whether or not I think they should trade for all-pro cornerback Xavier Howard. But before getting into that topic, just a quick question for those of you viewing. Comment down below whether or not you think the Raiders will make the playoffs in the upcoming season. They don't got to make it to the Super Bowl, make the AFC Championship, but do you think they're getting the playoffs? Just a quick yes or no question. Drop your answer below and I'll give my opinion at the end. Getting straight into it, it's unknown whether or not Xavier Howard is officially on the trading block, but it is very known that he's officially unhappy with the Miami Dolphins. He's unhappy with this contract. He is not attending camps. He wants something fixed, whether it's going to a new team or getting a new contract. So there's still speculation, enough speculation to bring up the topic. And the Las Vegas Raiders, a defense that could use some backup, could be in the market for Xavier Howard. Looking at the Raiders as a whole, they are definitely lacking defense. Is the defense going to be better than last year? Yes, of course. They got a new defensive court, 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 excuse me, coordinator. Max Crosby's hopefully going to get back to double digit sacks. You got Carl Nassib. You got Solomon Thomas. You got Yannick Ngakwe brought in. You brought in Jonathan Hankins. You got Littleton. You brought in Casey Hayward in the secondary. You brought in Javon Morg. It's going to be more improved. I made another video the other day on are the Raiders pretenders or contenders. Got a lot of hate on it for my opinion in the Raiders defense. This time, I took a second look. Do I still think the Raiders' defense is not great? Yes, but it shouldn't be the bottom five. It's not going to be, you know, like the bottom five defense I gave it credit for. So thanks, you guys, for the nice th feedback. I took another look. And again, I'm, not, I'm making it clear. I'm not backing down from my statement of them being, a, you know, not a Super Bowl contender. But I am taking a look and saying maybe this could be a playoff team. Maybe this is a decent defense. Maybe this team... Could be a Super Bowl team. You get an Xavier Howard type of guy. So I'm taking a second look. But again, looking at the defense, it's nothing spectacular. But it is definitely improved compared to last year. Looking at the offense, Derek Carr is on the brink of being a top 10 quarterback. He's as consistent and efficient as they come. Offensive line, I have my questions about them losing Rodney Hudson. But you still got some big guys in there. Richie Incognito, they brought in Alex Leatherwood. Hopefully, he pans out to be the best or this great pick that the Raiders themselves are expecting to. I think a lot of people are caught off guard. When they took him in the first round, but I'm going to trust John Gruden for the process for now. Receiving room, Darren Waller, he's the X-Factor type of dude. I think if the Raiders can become a playoff team, you know, and Darren Waller's carrying, I don't want to say carrying this team, but definitely being the, one of the biggest reasons as to why, we could see Darren Waller, <clears throat> excuse me, move up from a top three tight end to top two or top one. He's that good. It'd be hard to top Kittle or Kelsey, but if this is a serious team, they could get it done. However, he can't do everything. They really need Henry Ruggs to step up. He doesn't have to be the, you know, he doesn't have to be the next Jay Jettas or Justin Jefferson in his rookie year, but they need to see more out of him in his sophomore year than we did in his rookie year. I believe he only had like 27 catches. He had a couple special plays, a couple big plays that were fun to watch, but they were nothing spectacular that was consistent week in and week out. Hopefully this year, he doesn't have to be this huge deep threat guy, but can he just develop more, be more consistent, be more healthy? and just be somewhat of the prospect that they prospected him to be. Hunter Renfro, one of the better, I don't want to say receivers in general in the NFL, but one of the better slot receivers and slightly underrated. I'm not the hugest fan of him, but I do think he's slightly under the radar. Backfield, if Josh Jacobs is healthy, I think he's a top 10 running back in the league. Ken and Drake behind him is a good backup to have in case Josh Jacobs goes down or isn't playing, which does happen more often than not. Unfortunately, I have to say he misses every game, but it's more often than not, he's not healthy for an entire season. But Xavier Howard, could he help this team 100%? Now, there's a couple things to consider. A, the Raiders really can't afford him. You know, Xavier Howard, he's upset being the, the sixth highest paid cornerback in the league. That means he's going to want a new contract that's going to make him $20 plus million a year. And the Raiders don't exactly have that right now, especially with needing to re-sign Derek Carr soon. Darren Waller, Josh Jacobs, Yannick Ngakwe brought in. There's some money being spread out that... I don't know if they can exactly part with. I don't know if they can make it work transferring bonuses to signing bonuses or roster bonus or however they want to do it. They would have to make something work, and I think that's easier said than done. But theoretically, if they could make it happen, having some guys renegotiate, restructure, I do think Xavier Howard could help this team get to the playoffs. I'm not saying they'd be a Super Bowl favorite, but a secondary that has young Trevon Morg. You got Jonathan Abrams, you have Casey Hayward, and Xavier Howard. That's the perfect blend of upcoming rookie, plenty of youth, older veteran Casey Hayward, guy strictly in his prime, Xavier Howard. That's the perfect blend of everything you need on a team. Experience, up-and-comers, prime players, X-Factor players. 
that would really help out this defense to the nth degree up front. Hopefully, like I said, Carl, Na Carl Nassib, Yannick Ngakwe, Solomon Thomas, Jonathan Hankins, Max Crosby. Hopefully, those guys can rack up some sacks. Not all of them are sack guys and we're just, you know, box guys that stop the run. But you guys know what I mean. Get some pass rush. Littleton in the linebacker core. Hopefully, they can figure some things out. I'm still not the biggest believer in them as a whole. But Xavier Howard, an X-Factor type of player, a guy that is a top five corner in the league, would definitely make me think about change my mind. However, what would the Raiders give up for him? You know, just to give him reference, Xavier Howard's a top five corner of the league. When Jalen Ramsey was traded, he was a top five corner of the league. He was given up for two plus first round picks. Uh, Jamal Adams, top safety in the league, he was given up for two plus first round picks. Not saying Xavier Howard would have to cost that, but he's right on par with those other guys that did cost that. So it would be hard for the Raiders to get him for two first round picks or less. But who knows? If I'm the Raiders, I'm not saying you need to make this move or have to make this move. But if you want to keep up with the upcoming Chargers, keep up with the Broncos amazing secondary, keep up with the Dynasty Kansas City Chiefs, you need an X-Factor player. You made the Khalil Mack trade to get rid of them to bring in draft picks. Do the opposite. Get rid of some draft picks and bring in the X-Factor player. Be bold. You swung big last time. You didn't exactly hit or miss. It was kind of just, a, I don't want to say it was a wash. I do think the Bears won that trade. But still, try it the other way around. Keep swinging until you get one, in my opinion. Obviously, if you call the Miami Dolphins and they're like, yeah, he's going to cost three first-round picks, don't even bother. Don't waste your time hanging up the phone. But if their starting point is two firsts, and that means you could finagle them down to maybe a first-round and a fourth-round pick in 2022, and then here's a third-round pick in 2023, I, I'm not saying I would officially make that deal, but I would definitely talk to my guys, talk to the front office, talk to the scouts, talk to the coach, John Gruden, what's he think? And maybe we could make a deal. I'm not saying that would be the exact price or the exact trade package, but I do think that's a decent starting point for both teams to probably possibly negotiate. Maybe they're open to trading for a player, throwing a player in here. It's a first round pick and Solomon Thomas or just something along those lines and a fourth. You know, I'm not a player that's an X factor by any means. And Solomon Thomas at one point was a huge up and coming prospect. He was, I think he was taking like number three overall in the draft by the Niners, but still. He's still a valuable guy to have on the depth charts. Maybe that'll help blow, um, lessen the blow. I don't know what each side's looking for, but to me, I do think these sides could work something out, and I do think the Raiders could really use this type of talent on their team in their secondary in this very, very tough division. Like I said, Broncos, I know the Raiders fans think the Broncos are the donkeys and they stand no chance. They got the best secondary in the league, so I'd watch out. Chargers up and coming with Herbert and Chiefs. So what? You beat them once last year. Big deal. They're, they went to the Super Bowl and you went home. Clearly, you're on different levels of talent. Don't act like you're the same here. But an Xavier Howard type of trade, that could really shake things up. You guys tell me. Again, I'm standing by my take that I don't think the Raiders are a Super Bowl contender or favorite without Xavier Howard by any means. But with him, they could definitely make a playoff run and make some noise in playoffs. But I still don't think they're a Super Bowl favorite by any means. But either way, if I'm the Raiders, I'm not saying you need to make this happen, but I'm for it. I do think they should at least make the phone call to attempt and see what he's going to cost. But you guys tell me, do you agree or disagree with my take? I'm referring to the question in the beginning video. Do I think the Raiders make the playoffs with no Xavier Howard? I do not see the Raiders make the playoffs. I like what they got on offense. And I do think the defense is better than what I gave them for in the other video I made. But I still don't think it's anything special just given that tough division and given how tight the AFC is. But who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in the morning.